Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cookie. Today we're making a spicy chorizo, kale, and feta cheese frittata. Frittata is an Italian dish similar to an omelet or a crustless quiche. Frittata is easy to make, really flavorful, and it makes for a delicious festive breakfast, brunch, or lunch. I am using kale for this frittata because it has a nice spicy flavor that stands up and complements the bold flavors of chorizo sausage. I have here a bunch of washed kale and I'm removing the stems. Kale has a tough texture and can get pretty hard to chew, so we will parboil it for a couple of minutes in salted water. This way it will have a lovely soft texture in our frittata. Take out kale once it becomes tender and you can even take a bite to check. Set kale aside to cool and let's work on cutting up our chorizo and onion. I included all the exact measurements in the description below the recipe. Our kale is now cooled down and we're going to squeeze out the water and roughly chop it. In a large bowl, let's whisk eggs, milk, one tablespoon of flour. Don't worry if you see little lumps. You're not going to taste them when it's fully cooked and this little bit of flour will actually help the eggs set properly. Add some salt and a couple of twists of fresh pepper. I'm also going to add one half cup of crumbled feta cheese. Cheese is not necessary here, but I love the flavor of baked feta. So, in it goes. And now we're ready for frying. Preheat your frying pan on medium heat and use a pan that is oven safe because we will be transferring it to the oven. Add cooking oil and let's fry up our onions and sausage. Stir it occasionally and Cook the sausage and the onions until onions are soft and translucent and the sausage begins to brown. Once the onions and sausage is ready, we're gonna add our paprika. Cook the sausage for one more minute and then remove sausage from the pan and set it aside to cool. Let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. At this point, I like to clean up my pan to make sure that nothing gets stuck to it when I cook the eggs. Put your pan on medium heat and preheat it. While it's preheating, stir in chopped kale and chorizo mix into the egg mixture. When the pan is hot, Add oil and wait until oil gets hot. Add the egg mixture, making sure everything spreads evenly. Reduce the heat to low, cover the pan with the lid and cook until eggs are set and pull away from the edges. This usually takes about eight to 12 minutes. This is what I mean when I say the edges pull away from the pan. And now we're ready to transfer it to the oven. We will cook it in the oven until the top puffs up and the eggs are completely set. And this usually takes about 15 to 25 minutes. So mine is already ready and it looks perfect. Use a spatula to loosen it from the pan and transfer it to a serving dish. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments. Thank you.